Hey you guys, welcome back to the Double R Restoration Garage. We're back here on the Camaro today. Today is April the 15th, tax day, and we're just a little bit past 11 o'clock. Coming up on 5 after 11. You guys are just in time because we're putting the interior in the car today. Let's take, take a look at it. Actually, just test fittings the cell panels that go up in the corners here. Got to thinking about it, and I wanted to make sure that the holes here was going to line up, and everything looks like it's lining up good. Definitely make some of this work. It's hard to do, hold the camera. Over there is the same way. And I've taken these out before, but I've never reinstalled them. And I got a feeling with this back glass laying in here and trying to get this piece in, I got a feeling that is a pain. Well, here's the reason I wanted to check that. You see my gap right there in between the package tray extension and the deck filler. Well, that's a 5 16 inch of a gap. And I went ahead and fit the original back up to it. Of course, I had my, my holes there, the little circles where I did the uh, spot well cutters as a guide. And I measured the original, and it was a quarter inch. So this, this new one's just off a sixteenth of an inch. So we're working on just going ahead and getting this uh, package tray extension in place. I've got to go ahead and put a few more clamps on it. I've kind of got this package tray sitting in here the best I could. It's I'm going to need some help when I go to put it in. It's just flimsy as I'll get out. It's lining up, though. I can tell just by the two clamps I got in the corners and, and by holding it in place. I just don't have enough hands, but it is lining up, so I feel pretty good about that. We're going to be moving forward, and I'll bring you guys back when have a little bit more progress. We're going to get the welder set up, and do a few practice welds, and so we'll talk to y'all in a little bit.
All right, guys, the package tray extension is becoming part of the car. I've had a little trouble getting that welder set up right today. And it's usually the settings I've been using and it's worked fine, but this inner quarter may be a little bit different thickness than, than maybe what was under the original deck filler, but I ended up having to turn the wire speed up quite a bit. Uh, well, almost a full notch because it was burning back. It was burning the wire back up into the nozzle. And so that was kind of weird. But anyway, I had done a practice piece with my original settings and it did fine, but there was just something that was a little bit off. And I don't know if it's, I think it's probably this inner quarter metal is probably, I've been setting everything for 20 gauge plus, maybe just a little bit hotter and it's actually maybe 18, so most likely it probably is. So, but let's take a look at it. The hardest part has just been getting everything to fit flush. So, these did really well. And that's my first one. That's where I didn't have the welder set up right. That one I didn't have the welder set up right, but I, I burned it in and held it in there a little hotter. And that's why I've got the... Uh, such a mound on it because I stayed into it a little bit longer trying to get penetration but the rest of them the rest of them did good I mean minimum grind I kind of wish they all looked like that but as you can see once I turned my wire speed up a little bit things started working out now these two down here I had trouble with because the metal was kind of flexed out on and I was trying to I was trying to hold a wooden hammer handle and press in and weld at the same time and <laughs> you guys know how that is so i got good penetration that's what i wanted i probably like i said i may have had this thing turned up a little too high but i'm just i'm coming through pretty good on right in here not too bad though i mean it all grind out but underneath i came in a lot hotter on a couple of them so I'll have to grind all that out and finish it. It'll, it'll be all right. It'll look nice. Still got just a little bit more here. Boy, this one's gonna be a trick. I ain't real sure how I'm gonna wind up doing that. I wish I'd placed my hole a little bit better and got it up into here. Then I could have just, but part of that hole was under there. So that's gonna be pretty fun. But anyway, that's what I got going on, and I'm gonna do some grinding here. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna turn the fan on and get some of this burnt smell out of here. It's about to choke me, so I'm gonna get out of here for just a little bit and let this place evacuate a little bit. So, But then I'm gonna come back and we'll do some more welding and grinding. So I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, same day. It's a little bit later in the evening. About 10 after 3. Took a little quick break, grabbed some lunch, and had to run and get the pup from the vet. He uh, was getting a haircut today, so. And now I'm back out here going to do some more plug welds. Got the uh, package tray mounted up to the package tray extension with some clamps. I've turned the welder back down, back to the settings to where. I originally welded the deck filler panel in. This package tray is, it's definitely 20 gauge, so, and I believe that's was my problem when I first went to weld to the inner quarter, it's pretty much 18 gauge. So I have to keep that in mind when I go to weld the outer quarters on. But then I actually just did one spot weld there. Turned out really nice. Got a few more to go. So we'll put you guys up on the tripod here. We'll do a few more.